What is up, you two? It's your boy, Kick Nation, and we back at it. Should I say again? We back at it again with the NBA Live related videos, man. Our first video that has anything to do with NBA Live 19. Y'all know the game dropped this Thursday. Y'all know I'm going to be streaming that day once I get home from school because I still got school. Some of y'all don't got school. I got school to go to. But anyways, when I get home, I'm going to be streaming. But I got some early feedback, some early news. I'm not going to do a reaction video because I don't want to react to an 11 minute video or react to all like i think it's like 30 minutes of videos combined i think it's three guys who do our videos noob kill qjb and uh d hitman and a couple other guys so no i'm not doing that i'm taking d hitman's video and i'm doing a breakdown on it i'm doing the little little parts that i felt like was important and i'm going to bring it back to you guys so in case you guys missed it i'm going to sync it and once i sync it look at my smile once i sync it i'm going to tell you guys ready you ready let's go bang now the first thing is first man the first thing that i want to bring up even though this is a point that was made way later on in uh dms video you guys can now buy coins now i don't know if i ever threw this video out but a long long time ago me and my guy constant gaming squad had an idea to make this a video we were going to collab on a video and we we're going to go on things that we wanted back in the game and we were going to talk about how coin selling should be in the game because ea has such a problem with coin selling and we we're like bro we should make a video on how coin selling should be in the game like ea should sell coins so this is not this is no joke i wish hopefully i could maybe even find a combo that me and him had like months ago probably like eight nine months ago because y'all know you guys gonna be like, no, Keek, you just lying. Like, no, this is real talk. Like, we were already gonna collab on a video just to do that. To be like, EA should sell coins. I hope that the video blows up. I hope that they do it. But, hey, there's no need now. You guys can now buy coins. Hopefully, I could uh, get to the prices. I think it was, I think the prices weren't that bad. Like, like 750K. So, I think this year, like, the auction house and coin packs and buying players are going to be much cheaper. So I don't think, like, elites and, like, 90s are going to be going for, like, like, five mil and 10 mil i think having somewhere around like 10 million coins will be like a lot like having 10 mil this year i feel like we'll be having like 50 or 60 mil last year i feel like with 10 mil this year towards the middle of the season you guys will be able to get like some 90s and fill up your team with elites versus last year if you had 10 mil you will only be able to get like 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 299s you know what i'm saying you got so you guys see the difference like not 10 mil this year will have the same value i believe that uh that 60 mil was last year okay that's the point i'm trying to get across because you can now buy coins and coins are low-key expensive but they're not that expensive because if you're able to buy coins obviously things are either either how it goes these are either going to be cheaper or things are going to be a lot more expensive so it's 900 it's 9,999 9, cash for 750k now my question is how much is that going to affect the game is that because it's viable is that going to make players is that going to make cards and stuff in the auction house a lot cheaper because everybody could just always go buy coins or is it because people are going to be like yeah i'm not going to buy coins and that's the only way that you can make coins is that going to make it cheaper so let's say that this is the only way you can make coins there's no real coin making methods there's no real sniping methods there's no real way to make methods through the sets and only way you can make coins is through buying coins that's going to make cards cheaper because the only way you can get them is through buying coins you see what i'm saying but if it's like this is addition to there being uh set methods uh auction house methods you guys could sell all your players and get all this coin glitches etc etc and then that will make the cards real cheap so let's say they throw out a 90 you guys could buy coins the cards are going to be real cheap so you could either grind for it or you could just cheat your way to it and just get the coins for it i don't know we're gonna have to see second point that i wanted to make you guys there are no more training there is no training now, i don't know how to feel about that honestly don't because earlier on into the game i did train my players but later as the game progressed and grew i didn't really train my players like that so i guess it's not really that bad of a thing i didn't train my platinums because it was way too expensive to train platinums and i didn't really train my i'd say yeah like when i when it got to platinum levels i stopped training like uh, 94s 94s to 90s i trained 89s to like 85s i did not train but like the 85s i trained but like it got to a point where i stopped training cars because they got way too expensive to train bro it was like 
like two two mil just to go up one level for a platinum. I'm like, hey, like I already spent six mil on the car. Why do I need to spend two mil to train it? So I don't really know how to feel about that. Third point, you guys, there are new lineup. There are new sets. One, I mean, there are new player lineup things. The little, the little circular little things with the colors that be on the player cards. There are new of those, okay? So I think the Hitman said there were like lockdown defenders. Uh, I think there might be new ones for each position. So he said there were lockdown defenders, uh, rim protectors, playmakers, stretch big, sharpshooter, slasher. That might be it. I think that might be it. I might be, I think everything that's on in EA's NBA Live 19, the game, I think that is now incorporated into NBA Live Mobile. Yeah, so another thing, Showdown is still the same. There has been, he said there has basically been no gameplay update, which I kind of expected, which I honestly don't care about. I only I only just recently started doing really, really grinding gameplay. Well, it's like, you guys can see from my last video, I never really did gameplay, gameplay videos. I did gameplay for the summer promos and that, but I've been doing Showdown. I really like Showdown, so I'm gonna be doing Showdown this year too. Showing you guys how to get top 1,000 every time. I'm getting top 1,000 every time, but showing you guys how to get top 1,000 every time. So that's not, it's not really that big a deal for me, but it's kind of like, it's like I wish would have been there, but as long as they, they bring in, oh, they're bringing coin packs back. So they said they're gonna have some type of coin packs. I don't know if they're gonna be coin packs for players or coin packs for like set things, but there was coin packs. I will show that if I can. So there are coin packs. And I don't think there's anything else really new or relevant that I should say. Like the campaign mode, there he has campaign mode, but we already have had campaigns where you guys grind through the little live event so you guys end up with an elite player or 10 gold players or whatever. Whatever the doohickeys is. We haven't seen an auction house yet, so we don't know if coin selling or open auction house is back. I honestly don't know. I feel like they might bring it back, which is another point that I want to make. I feel like they might bring it back because they have coin selling themselves. So if they're making money coin selling, I think they're going to maybe bring it back. I don't know because it's like if you're selling coins, would you want other people selling coins? Because could other people make money if you're selling coins? Like if I'm selling you a t-shirt, only way you can make money off of selling the t-shirt that I sold you is about selling it for more money. So if the coin sellers buy coins from EA, they only can make more money if they sell the coins for more than EA is selling them for. You see what I'm saying? And I don't know if they're going to be willing to do that as coin sellers. So I don't know if they're going to bring coin sellers back. In my, in my perspective, I feel like they should cheapen the coins from half, just cut it in half sell coins and bring coin selling back that way they won't make any money because coins are already so cheap in the game are fairly cheap because you know how you know 25 cent for a meal but hey all the points that i want to make you guys you guys could go watch the video you guys yourself these are just some of the key points i wanted to make sets are back showdown is back the new card art oh my god the am i the only one who thinks the new card art is absolutely fire this is the best card art by far. The card art is exquisite. The card art is fantastic. Wow, I think I'm like, wow. The card art is good. All the crap that I give EA, all the all the crap talk, they did good on that card art. Whoever made that card art design, I want to meet you, bro. You're, you're a freaking genius. Yeah, but sets are back. Coin packs or look like they're making a return. You guys cannot buy coins. Uh, I don't know if rep is, is rep back, is that rep? There's a new currency that I just noticed. I don't know if it's rep, but I will zoom in on it. And you guys can tell me, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be rep. It's just a new little logo for it. I hope it's rep, I like rep. I think it's rep. I don't know, we are gonna see. Uh, it looked like rep is back, no more training players. Campaign is back, live events is back. They don't know about the auction house yet because obviously nobody's playing the game and no gameplay updates. So I'm liking it. I'm liking it. It's the difference between this year and last year is that they're bringing new stuff in. Coin selling is new. The way they're doing the campaign and live events is new. The uh, card training, I mean, the card position styles is new. I think it's only one lineup this year. That's new. So like instead of them taking things out, which they did from they did from 16 to 18, yeah, 16 to 18, they took things out. 
instead of bringing things in. So instead of bringing things in, they took things out. They took out multiple lineups. They took out coin selling. They took out the auction. They took. They brought auction house fee in. They like they took things out. This year they're take bringing things in. Coin selling, new way to do sets, new live events, new this, new that. So that's great video opportunity and that's great things for you guys to need to know. And until then, we out.